Looks like fun times ahead. Straight out of Narawai here. Here's Mario. Hello, Mario's Daily Vlog, number 703. Fun times. Saturday, March the 23rd, 2019. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's your day been? Mine's been busy, fun, yeah, all of those things, and others. Hi, 3.5. Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I dropped into the base today, and well, this is what was happening. Bouncy castles were getting blown up, slippery slides... Bungee thingamajigs. Oh, it looked like a lot of fun. It's times like this are quite nostalgic for the for the kids. Take the kids in there. So I stopped. I thought, oh, I'll take a photo of that. It looks like a lot of fun. But I did feel a little self-conscious. It's handy to have a, a child around, I guess. It, you know, otherwise you just look like a, well... <laughs> A creepy old man. But I did, uh, oh, I liked, I loved to see the the fun and that that was going on and the laughter and the excited giggles and things like that that were coming out of it. Made me, as I say, a little bit nostalgic for the um, for the times that I took uh, our kids out um, to various <laughs> outings and things. Usually with a, uh, ended up with a humorous story to tell. I don't know whether that was... Um, my irresponsibility, possibly, but uh, yes, so I could imagine uh, quite a little bit of fun at something like this. I was keen to see the bouncy castle thing blowing up there in the foreground, but hmm, I didn't stay long enough to actually see what it was. It looked quite interesting. I was actually quite interested in the blower there because... Um, Yes, I've wanted one of those for my burn barrel. They're apparently really good. I was quite intrigued with that um, particular one there, but it seemed like it had a huge task in front of it, so it takes a little bit of while to blow it up, and then it actually stopped, I think, at one point when I was there. So I guess they had it all in hand, and um, I wonder perhaps um, the price of it all may have um, prohibited me and the four kids uh, really fully enjoying ourselves, but uh, yes, nostalgia struck, and I got that um, not reasonable little snap, as we used to say, photo. So, what is today's diary? Well, we got out and tidied up the shed, and I did take a couple of photos of it, but I thought that one there was uh, way superior. The photos were a little bit blurred, and at night, but we have tidied up the area at the back of the shed and uh, in the process mowed the little bit of lawn there. So that's good. Two hours I spent out there with my um, lovely wife. She did the, uh, the chopping and lopping and I did the uh, mowing and got the fire going and all sorts of things. So, yeah, I think she was a little bit aggrieved that I did some mowing at the end. She felt that I should have perhaps been helping with the lopping and chopping, but um, I think we got over that in the end. I, uh, I saw the opportunity to get a something filled in in my vlog, and so I hit the lawn mowing zone. But um, yeah, it was quite uh, tiring out there when the grass is quite long. So 4,781 steps, uh, 703 fun times. We've got a question coming up. 300 still, in, still on hint two. And, uh, well, getting closer, I think. Um, but nothing as of yet. Uh, nothing really figured too much in the Wintech front today. And, well, I met my wife at the Blissful Vegan for lunch again today. And... We're becoming known there. Well, known. They they knew what my tea-drinking proclivities were. And, uh, yeah, so I imagine next time we go there, they'll 
pretty much have it dead right. So that was nice. Nice lunch at the vegan, the blissful vegan. I quite enjoyed it. Um, a student of mine recommended it to me, and then the other day he sent me a menu for another place called Victor's Place, which is a yum cha, but that's in town. So I'm thinking I might be uh, having to head to the to Victor's Place as well to have a check out of that. But certainly the Blissful Vegan has been uh, very nice. We've, we enjoy our lunches there. Um, it's a, an interesting little spot and quite busy today. And uh, yes, I've been up at the hospital um, being infused. Infused. And I did find uh, today, uh, coming back... Oh, and I, we caught up with our good friend Cheryl came in today. She was over doing some work down at the Marae and wanted to uh, borrow my roller that's um, there. So... Yes, popped in and had a had a cup of tea and some cake with Cheryl. That was uh, great to catch up with Cheryl again. So uh, yeah, I think we should uh, have a shout out to uh, Sh Cheryl. Um, if only I could um, spell her name correctly. I think that's how she spells it. I'm not sure, but um, anyway, shout out to Cheryl. Dropping in, good to see her. She um, despairs at my staying home staycation lifestyle as she always uh, invites us over to Tauranga and down to Mokau. But uh, yes, we are uh, more um, stay-at-home types. So um, I, did, I did say to Lindy, um, we should uh, pop over there sometime. But yeah, I don't know. Things, things just... Carry on. Anyway, nice to see uh, nice to see Cheryl again. So let's go and have a look at today's challenge. And um, well, Harry Potter fans, this one's for you. In the Harry Potter books, who was the headmaster of Hogwarts? Is it Draco Malfoy? Albus Dumbledore? Gilert Gindelwald or Sirius Black? If you know the answer, put it in the comments below the video. If you don't know the answer, well, it's one of those four. You could just guess or you could look it up. Whatever. Put your answer in the comments below the video and you could have your name on the Hall of Fame. So, whose name is on the Hall of Fame today? Well, it's Moz42 is on today's Hall of Fame. And, um, yes, he um, told us that Queen's single, Bohemian Rhapsody, was 5 minutes and 55 seconds long. I'm just a poor boy. <laughs> oh, I'm just running it through my head. Sorry, are you still there? <laughs> Alrighty, so well done, Moz. And well done, everybody, for your liking and subscribing and watching the videos and your commenting. Marvellous stuff. Appreciate your efforts and support of the channel. And, um, yeah, has a wonderful effect on my day and my demeanour and uh, keeps me moving forward. So thanks very much. And hopefully, we'll see you again tomorrow. All good. Cheers. See you. Smash that like button. This has been a Mario presentation from our studio in Narawahia, capital of the Waikato, situated towards the top of the North Island of New Zealand, the little country at the bottom of the globe.